Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create this illustration in the app IBS Paint Text. This is going to be a step by step tutorial so don't skip the video anywhere. And if you are new to my channel, please check out the videos and if you find it useful, subscribe to my channel. So let's get started. First, I am going to open a uh, pastry canvas in my IBS Paint Text app. And first of all, I'm going to draw a shape, like merging two shape, uh, a rectangle and circle. So for that, I'm using this line tool and mirror ruler. And the brush I'm using is well depend hard. So I'm going to use very mild blue color so to avoid some, you know, uh, you know, clarity issue. I just made the background as transparent and here you can see I just draw a, a vertical line and then circle then closing the bottom with the line and make sure you keep the reference layer as current while using the bucket tool and fill uh, the shape with the color so my basic shape is ready and if you want to adjust a little bit make it broader taller or if you want to make it big altogether you can do like this using the transform tool and now i just switched off switched on the alpha lock here i'm going to add some mild gradient shade for this so I didn't add any a separate layer to add the shading. Instead, I'm just uh, adding the shade uh, on the uh, same layer itself. So in the next layer, I'm going to draw the sun. This sun is going to be visible only inside the shape. So I just created a clipping layer for this layer. And here I'm going to draw the sun. So for drawing sun, I'm using the circle tool first. To draw the center circle and I'm going to use the scalaroscope ruler just move the position of the ruler to here make sure it is almost at the center of the circle you can even draw the circle on the uh, using scalaroscope ruler itself if you do like that will get the perfect circle and the shape all at once so here i'm going to draw the sun rays so for drawing sun rays like this i just made few lines and filling the line with the color you can either use the bucket tool but if you are using the bucket tool you have to fill each and every line so instead you can simply fill the color on one area and it will be repeated in the kaleidoscope ruler you can use either of these two methods and here i'm going to add you know arrays little bit of area in the rays like you know to form it in uh, to divide uh, the rays into two lines so like this for that I'm using the eraser just erase like this okay now it looks good okay my sun is ready now I'm going to erase at the bottom little bit like this to make it look like a gradient erase yeah like this now create a new layer so here i'm going to draw a mountain and i'll be drawing multiple clipping layers for that mountain layer so already we have to keep everything within this shape so to avoid uh, confusion i just created a folder and inside that folder i'm going to draw the mountain and as usual the folder will also ask like a clipping 
so for that shape so everything going to be inside this shape only so i just draw the basic shape and i feel like the color is not good so i'm going to change the color yeah so this one now what you can do is just create a clipping layer for this mountain and here i'm going to add some details for the mountain this is going to be basic shape so it it is not uh, required like it has to be perfect so you can just make some zigzag movements using the lasso tool and apply shadings like this so this is going to be like a digital art uh, you know kind of with basic shape so it doesn't need to be a perfect uh and my mind time so this is going to be let's like, say you know like cartoon style or graphic design style you can even use this kind of designs for t-shirt making and for all those things and here i'm going to add some dark shades so for that just make sure you you are on the laser tool and click on the invert option to select the remaining areas other than that selection we have already made so like this you can apply shading easily you don't have to select everything uh, again you can simply use the invert option so now at the top i'm going to add some mm, ice splash details like this again i'm not drawing anything perfect so just making some random moves here as well now i feel like this a uh, uh, you know this side is a uh, really empty so i'm going to add some more details here so highly details I'm going to use milder color and make sure you keep the add blending mode layer at the top and the uh, linear burn blending mode layer at the bottom like this. Now I'm going to draw trees. So before that I'm just adding a little bit of shading for the eyes for the snow yeah so now we have added the snow details and now at the top of all these i'm going to draw a tree so for drawing tree now i'm just going to use the basic triangle shape and this tree is going to be out of the shape so whatever i'm drawing from now that will be out of that frame so it will be covering the uh, remaining areas and we'll do something different uh, from this so just using the polyline tool you can draw the basic uh, triangles and duplicate that layer and just merge it again to get a big tree like this simply click on this and merge now my tree is ready i'm going to draw this stem using the same polyline tool okay now just duplicate uh, the tree and position it wherever you want so like this to keep that as a reference so you don't uh, need to you know end up having uh, nothing as a reference so i'm placing it here duplicating this and placing it here so like this position wherever you want
。ライトです。You know, everything looks like、uh, in the same color. We can't find out the difference between the trees. To also make a difference, I'm adding shade like this yellowish shade. Make sure you switch on the alpha log for each tree and do like this. Okay, the process is the same, so I just skipped the uh, uh, process. So now just merge. The back、uh, trees at the backward together. Make sure you switch off the alpha lock before merging. Then, these are the intermediate trees. So, I'm going to merge them. Just switch off the alpha lock and merge. And these are the trees at the front. So, I merged into、uh, them into three layers. So, between these trees, I'm going to draw rocks. So, I'm just creating three layers between these la、uh, uh, three layers. And using the laser fill tool, I'm going to draw the shape like this. Then moving on to the intermediate part. So, this is why I just created. I s a y separate three layers for the rocks、um, because the rocks h a s to be visible between the trees. So if you merge all the trees together, you can't create a, such a look. So for that sake, I just separated the trees into groups and created a separate layer. So now I'm going to add river. So, the river is from the mountain and it is moving you know, towards us like this. And adding water here as well. So, you can keep this, or you know, you can leave this part. Now, the river looks really empty. I'm going to add some dark shade to make it in you know, a little bit of gradient. Then, just created another layer to add some. Details for the river. So here I'm using the felt pen hard brush. Again, it's up to you if you want to add such details or you can keep it plain. So I felt like it, it was you know, really empty, so added such details. Now, this looks really you know, bright, hard. So, I just reduced the opacity and using the airbrush eraser, I'm erasing a little bit to create a, create a faded look. Yeah, like this. Now, I'm going to add the details for the rocks. So, just switch on the alpha lock. So, here I'm going to add a little bit of rock here so it looks in a gap. Okay, just switch on the alpha lock for each rock layer and using the lasso. Select some areas like this to add some highlights for the rock. And using the milder, milder color, I'm going to add the shade like this. So, the same process again for the next two rock layers.
so for adding such a highlight details you know there is no any particular uh, shape ideas just i make random selections using the laser tool and just make some uh, zigzag movements and select those areas and add shadings so at the top of all I'm going to draw the cloud. So for drawing cloud, I'm switching on the lasso uh, fill tool along with the circle option and uh, making some circles like this, bigger, smaller, like this. So another cloud here. And at the bottom, you can make some exact movement like this. yeah now if you feel it bit just select that area and you can simply move size resize and position it wherever you want okay now it is ready so if you want to add some shadow details for that just you can create a folder and put every all layer inside that folder like this and you can duplicate the folder click on this and click the merge option it will be converted into a single layer why i'm doing is you can't apply any filter for the, the entire folder you can only apply filters for layers so I just uh, created a merged image of that. Keep that, keep that as a bottom, and for I for that, I just applied the drop shadow filter. So that's the reason why I created all this folder merging uh, and all this thing. So now I'm saving this as PNG and transparent PNG. So this is the PNG artwork. So it gives the white background and this transparent PNG. I hope you like this tutorial and learn something new from me. If so, subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.